We are back on our show in the kitchen uh, this Friday. Great to have Gary Perkins with us, uh, part of the Fresh Central crew. John Dean, not here, but we have Gary. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. That's so all we need to say. John had to go out of town. Yeah. He doesn't, his parents didn't live here. So. Yeah, well, right. good for he him. But we love having yeah. Gary. Yeah. Okay, everybody's talking about Easter Sunday and what they're preparing. And, of course, you know, we pull out all the stops and eat all of those wonderful things that may not be so healthy for us. <laughs> they're all wonderful and yeah. they're great. Yeah. And we're going to have ham yeah. and all these traditional things. But we need a few healthy things to go along with them. Okay. Right. So one of my favorite um, healthy side dishes is just a, a real simple sautéed spinach. Okay. And uh, so I went out to Inglewood yesterday mm -hmm. and got me some spinach oh, and gosh. got it washed up and and ready to go. Right. And I put a little uh, garlic and olive oil. You know, you can't cook without garlic. Right. And mushrooms in this skillet. Mm -hmm. And we'll just start browning this, mm -hmm. cooking this over high heat. Okay. Right. And warming that up. And then we're going to just add our spinach to that until it... Really easy. Until really it sautés and... and um, cooks down. Okay. Now the two things that I think adds great flavor to this is I have a little lemon juice that I'm going to add to this okay. once it starts browning. Mm -hmm. right. And of course, That's you got to use Mexican yeah. Cajun it's seasoning. Local. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of Parmesan cheese to it. Yum. To, to uh, give it some flavor. Right. And then and you just have the spectacular dish. It's It's yeah. 10 minutes from start to finish and it's, uh, it's healthy and delicious and it mm -hmm. goes right along there with that fresh ham you bought out at uh, Inglewood Farms tomorrow. Oh my gosh, tomorrow. I have had that pork and it's delicious. Oh, that, I actually yeah. used some of the pork bacon, the bacon that I bought from them yesterday yep. in a dish Great bacon there. Sunday. Oh, yes. There's two or three uh, grass-fed or pasture-raised uh, producers out there and so mm -hmm. you can get fresh hams. When I was a kid growing up, we'd have fresh hams at Easter instead of the smoked ham. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's country cooking. Country cooking, yeah. good, and you so know all about good old country cooking. I grew cooking. up in the sticks. So we got, got that starting to saute a little bit. Some of the spinach. And we're just going to add that spinach in okay. there. Mark, you should be doing this for me. Yeah, I was going to say, you, I, I, I could be your hired hand, Gary. Man, do you wash dishes, though? I do wash dishes. Man, now you're talking. <laughs> we'll stick them in the dishwasher. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, well, I'm just glad you're here this time because last month you weren't here and he's, I didn't even know where to start. He's letting me know that. He's I didn't even know where to start on this <laughs> thing. So once I get this to, to browning a little bit, I'm going to add a little of that, what was that again? Mexican mm -hmm. seasoning right. produced in central Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add just so a little. It's got a little kick to it. It does have a little kick. And I'm going to add a little lemon juice so we'll have a little liquid to help steam that spinach a little bit. Okay. Is that kind of your secret ingredient, the lemon juice, Gary? That's secret ingredient. I hate to give everybody my secret, but it is. Uh, You're nice. also here today to talk about Harvest of the Month program. Man, that is a fantastic program that um, that Fresh Central and um, LSU Ag Center have started, mm -hmm. where they, uh, they the pilot school is uh, North Bayou Rapids Elementary, mm -hmm. and they have a fresh fruit or vegetable for lunch one day a, a month, and uh, the children go over where it's how it's grown, mm -hmm. where it's grown, how it's prepared, and then they learn all this in the classroom and then they get to enjoy it at lunch. So it's been a very successful program. The kids love it, the schools like it, the farmers love it oh, because absolutely. They're, they're buying local yeah, local food. Yeah. Buying their food. And uh, you know, if, if, if parents out there, if you'd like for your child to be involved in this program, you know you could call your school board member and say, we won't harvest for the month also. That is so neat. It's a, it it's a kind of get the ball rolling. We have one Again. school in Rapids Parish. That's it so far. We need all of them. Yeah, I know, yeah. absolutely. Well, it's wonderful to see so many schools also putting in their own garden. Too. Yes, yes. Just yes. to show the kids uh, how Make, food is grown, yeah, on a small scale, but still on a scale. Yeah. Right. Make them aware about healthy eating, eating locally grown vegetables. Mm -hmm. Supporting our farmers, which right, is so important. Right. Yeah. And what they found through doing this program is if the kids know more about where the vegetables come from and they're involved in that process, mm -hmm. they will try them, they will taste them, and so it starts these healthy eating habits. Right. So it's very important to get started early. Oh, this, is, this is a delicious side eggs. dish, the, the spinach and the mushrooms and the garlic. So this morning oh. I started oh. a little dish. You've so been working I've a little been bit working this morning. This morning so in about 10 minutes, this one will look like right. that one. So, oh, that's uh, oh, that looks good. And uh, it's a great side dish. 
Very healthy, very mm -hmm. wonderful. Spinach is so good for you. I've always been a big spinach fan. Me too. Papa. Well, yeah. I wouldn't go that far. But. <laughs> All right, Gary, we'll, uh, we'll close things out here in the kitchen when we come back, so stay with us.